A COVID-19 rapid screening kit developed by the National Health Research Institute is getting closer to clinical trials. The NHRI is developing the 15-minute reagent test in collaboration with the National Defense Medical Center. It held an event to find industrial partners on Wednesday, attracting dozens of manufacturers interested in getting the test up and running. If all goes well, the test could be in clinical trials in four weeks and start mass production in as little as three months. This antibody is specific to COVID-19. It grabs onto the protein of the COVID-19 virus when it finds it. That produces what we call a positive reaction. As the global death toll from COVID-19 passes 80,000, the search for a quick and accurate test is at the top of everyone's priority list. The reagent test being developed by NHRI and National Defense Medical Center can get results in as little as 15 minutes. We're announcing this prototype to Taiwanese manufacturers in the hope that they can join our development team, especially manufacturers with lots of experience. And together, we hope to optimize the test and get it on the market. The NHRI held this event to introduce the new non-patented technology. 22 manufacturing companies attended, and there were also inquiries about technology transfer coming in from abroad. Other countries also hope to arrange a technology transfer at the same time. But our priority is the Taiwanese people. If the test is successful, they must be able to use it first. So I am sure we will prioritize working with Taiwanese manufacturers. If all the documents are in order, there will be a result in two to four weeks. After that, clinical trials will need to take place. All in all, I think it should be possible within three months. The test could be in mass production by July at the earliest. It would be a massive step up in the nation's capacity to curb the disease.